uh, last but not least, I want to look at the Loop Masher, which is another brand new synth that they've they just came out with this in Cubase 5. It's only available in Cubase 5, and uh, has a real simple interface, but it's extremely powerful and a lot of fun to use. I find it really inspiring uh, to come in here and just grab. I can grab, say, this big beat, and you'll notice it loads up a bunch of different samples or loops. Within these loops, you can control them in different ways. Down here on the bottom left, you'll see these are different presets. So as I select them, they're actually bouncing between the different, the different, uh, different loop sets. So the idea behind this, I'll turn off sync and I'll just hit play. So we can hear this loop. Uh, this column right here, you see these circles? Uh, that is the master track. So when you have this selected, basically the plugin itself is looking to this for this, its rhythmic content. What it does is you take any you take any loop and drop it in. It analyzes it. It goes through this analysis process and uh, sort of tags it in different ways. And what you can do is drop in several different loops into this. We have up to eight tracks that we can work with. And it analyzes each of them, and what it does is it goes through and finds some commonality between it, rhythmically, sound-wise, pitch-wise. And it's pretty intelligent in terms of the way it works. You can use these sliders to go back and forth, so it will impart different characteristics, different loops. So if I drag them all the way down, it really doesn't provide much sound at all. I'll just drag these all down, and I'll hit play. So right now we're just listening to this drum loop. Now I can go down and pick this sound. Now you notice this particular sound only has, if you look at the transients, only has, it looks like a snare hit. So that's what we're listening to. But if I have this on and I start bringing in elements from another track, that other track is going to be controlled rhythmically by whatever the master one is set. So you can very quickly start to build up something pretty unique. Very, very quickly. So let's say I like the way this particular sound. This is sort of a... What's, what's fun about this is you can build on the previous sound. So I can take this... I can come down to this little button down here that says Save Current Setting as Scene. I click on this, you'll notice they all sort of get an orange highlight, and I can click on one. So I've just saved this preset right here. I can push this forward. And let's see what happens when I add a little bit of this one. Interesting. Let's make this the focal point. So that's a variation based on the first one. I'll save that to our second slot. Let's see what happens when we introduce something else. I'll make this one the focal point. And we can save that one as a preset. Now it is possible to bring in a, a loop from an outside source. For instance, if I were to go up to my uh, audio pool, I'm just going to slide this down out of the way for a second, and I'll open up my audio pool, which is right here. And in my audio pool, I can hit import and grab, oh, I don't know, any kind of drum loop. There it is. I can grab this and drag it onto a loop there. It'll analyze it. I can pick a different section of it. Or I can introduce it. I can make this the So now it'll start to intelligently go through and and figure out 